Welcome to Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. Premier League has always had some fantastic rivalries, and this season it's the clash between 11 time world champion Phil Helmuth and the young star of poker Tom Dwan, the one they call Durr. It's a matchup between the old guard and the new wave. You're going to let me run you over? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. I had a nickname for you. You know what it was? What was it? Duracell. You keep raising and raising and raising and raising. You just never give me any credit, do you, kid? <laughs> well, I'm glad you have so little respect for my game. Why don't you keep my mouth shut? Well, I know one thing, Durr. You and I are going to play tomorrow, son, because I'm going to watch every hand you play from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, Bill took all 10 Amen. points and put himself back in contention. Did you watch the whole match? Are you going to find a way to criticize? I played great. I bluffed I four times. I played so six times. Eight play, like eight play yeah. All the greatest players in the world have learned not to mess with me, every one of them. And people say, oh, well, Phil's boasting. Well, yeah, maybe I'm boasting about that. It's a cool thing, though. Well, three out of the top four in action tonight. J.C. Tran cannot be topped in this match, but his lead can only get bigger. Tony G will also be playing this evening. In the playoff zone, Phil Helmuth looking to capitalize on his win last time out, and Roland DeWolf looking to go better than his second place. Tom Dwan is going to have to start scoring or he'll start falling. In the relegation zone, Nanad Medic, this is time for him to put up or just stop up. Only six points and only a first will do. Players making their way to the studio. And, then, ah! and the gambling oh, never oh, stops. That? One of the toughest lineups yet for a league match. This will be a cracker. Players walking on for league match number seven. Trying to go 0 for 13 on all ends. Someone's going to make a bet next year. Why don't we all go in on the first hand? Thrilled to be joined by Annette Overstar. And Annette, you can hear the banter already. These guys are fired up, like. Oh, just want to wait until they start playing. This is going to be very interesting, I think. There is a lot of stuff going on last match between no, Durr, Tom Dwan, and Phil Helmuth. You think that's going to take a new level again? Oh, yeah, yeah. I talked to Phil, Phil earlier today, and he, he thinks he knows what Durr is doing now, and he's definitely not going to be afraid to play back at him now. And he's like a new Helmuth now because uh, he won the last time out. And Durr got third. I mean, how do you think Dwan's been playing? What's he thinking now? Uh, to be honest, like, Durr is playing well, but the thing yeah, is, like, we'll I don't think this though. style works as well in a league format. It works yeah, really well in a shootout yeah, format where you have to advance to get first place. But the thing is, when you have to play for points and you, you need the points to, to, to get further in the competition, then I think this is a really bad strategy by him. Yeah, and Helmuth now with 13 points. He's played this before. You know, he, he's here to try and make that final table. Cool. Raised a five from the button, and Dwan's just going to peel the flop off with the threes. That's what I was thinking, too. It'd be a perfect time. And, I mean, Tom is not just set mining here, is he? I mean, is he? Probably not. Uh, I think he's looking to check raise some flops, and that being one of them. You have and the commitment. That's your line, Tony. I do have a feeling that Tran is going to check behind here. You haven't pulled the line out, though, have you? Looks like Tom does too. He's 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 gonna take the the, the check behind away from him, isn't he? Yeah, I mean I I, I like his play there a lot. Cause I think uh, JC's gonna check behind that flop with a lot of hands. He has something like red pocket sevens, you know. He's gonna check behind almost every time. Cause he doesn't want to get check raised. He knows that Juan is, is capable of doing that. A couple interesting cards could come here. Side it could be. Uh, just quads. I actually like it better because it looks a lot like he's drawing. Like he had something like Ace of Clubs or something else, and maybe he was looking to bet three, bet the flop. And now he's just betting to try to get a JC off his hand. And people never think Tom has anything anyway, do they? No, of course they don't. And, and he's taking advantage of his image here. Is there a play for JC? I, I mean, is, is raising an option? The thing is, if he calls, his call is going to look so weak that he can't represent anything on the river. If um, I mean, unless a club hits, and then he's screwed because when a club hits. <laughs> <laughs> JC, I mean, I just get the feeling that even though he's got all these points, he's still going to just play his game. He looked like he might have been bluffing to me, but... 
Phil <laughs> with his soul reads. Yeah, Phil, he, wrong he, was, there, Phil. he was nearly bluffing, okay, just the quads. Just nearly. Did you see that? <laughs> Roland just folded ace queen up front. And Did I, he really? I swear. Are you sure it was ace queen? Yes. What? Oh my god. What? What what does that mean? That he's playing extremely tight and just trying to get some points, I guess. I don't understand to fold at all. Ace Queen is way too strong to fold, even under the gun. I mean it is six handed. You just can't expect people to have a better hand than that. Oh, here we go. It's one versus Phil. Twelve thousand more. I'm sick of you raising my blonde. He's just gonna go all in blonde, isn't he? Yeah, probably. So uh, it's only twelve thousand more. I, I mean, yeah. But does he think Phil really has something here, or? I'm on. Apparently yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no flops that Juan wants to see that doesn't have an eight on wow. it. So uh, <laughs> you know, I, I I don't think that he can profitably call there for you, flop. It's either all in or fold. And wow, I hate to that's, seventeen thousand. That's obviously 000. what he did. <laughs> Usually he robs me for two, three, four, five. Then I get him for thirty, forty, fifty, or hundred. Then he robs me for two, three, four, five. Wow. Well, I kind of predicted something like this might happen. Right? It's not really his game, the re-raising during level one, is it? It's it's not. But he also wants to show t Tom that he has to stay away from his blinds, or else Tom is just gonna keep going at it all the time. And eventually, you know, Phil has to make a stand, and I think it's better to do it early on than having to risk all your tips doing it. Okay, nice play. It's a hard commitment to win that pot. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He raced my blind like literally 25 times in a row. I re raced him once and he moved We all know you're too good of a player to make those. No, no, he gave, no, he gave me 70,000. Tom, Tom, he enjoyed yeah, that. that. I mean, Dwan oh, just enjoyed he that. He totally oh, did. Oh, you're just too good to be called. What's the difference? Not too I'm going to find out anyway. Pass. Raise. Raised to 5,000 total. <laughs> I obviously thought I had the best hand, but I saw it for That's how this game works, right? Simple Pass. game. And this is interesting that Tran uh, is raised here. Look at some big uh, hands out there eight. just calling yeah. them. Well, I mean, they don't really want to go too crazy yet. It's, uh, it's early, and you don't want to be re raising with hands like, especially hands like pocket aids. See? Look at that! Look at that! Oh, we have quads again. Oh my god, what if he hits the flush? Do you think he's going to get away like he did against Tom in the first heat? Check. I really have a feeling the spade is gonna hit. See? Yeah. Told you the spade is gonna hit. Now Helmuth, you remember he, he made an unbelievable okay. fold the very first hand of his Premier League, yeah. making the flush against uh, Tom when he had yeah. a full house. Yeah. Is, is Helmuth going broke here, or is the pot too small for Helmuth to go broke? I really think it's gonna be hard for Helmuth to fold here because this time he has a king high flush, not a jack high flush, and you know there. Well, I. He might not go broke now, s since there was no bet on the turn, and even okay. if he bets the river and someone races, it's not going to be all his tips. Has Roland played this well so far? I think overall? he should have bet the turn. He definitely should have bet the turn. I mean, you need to build the pot while you still can. There's only one card left to come. And if nobody, if nobody bets the river, you might not even get more than 5,000 out of it or 10,000. Sixty. I guess. What does that matter? Lots of areas that'll have. Yeah, I think I might be able to raise to thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, I, I think that's a good raise on his part. Uh, if he put Helmy's all in there, I think there's a much better chance that he's gonna fold than if he just raises thirty-seven. And because now Phil is gonna think he has chips left. He still, he can still play if uh, if he speed. Oh boy. <laughs> He's going to be put in a lot of tough spots, Phil, isn't he? He really it? is. And I mean, is he capable of... We know he's capable of making big folds, but the way the action has gone in that, is he capable of folding this? I don't know. Like, it, it looks a lot like uh, Roland has pocket fives here. 